Today we are going to look at a video. What physics is behind smashing of vegetables? In this first case, the ladle is being used to smash the vegetables. In the second scenario, I use the smasher to smash the vegetables. Can you find the difference between the two scenarios? In the first scenario, when I use the ladle to smash the vegetables, it is not getting smashed. But when I use the smasher, the vegetables are getting easily smashed. If you know why this happens, guess the reason. If you guess the reason as uniform pressure, it is correct. But there is an yet another interesting reason. First time when I use the ladle to smash the vegetables, it is not getting smashed because I give the force in the ladle with the angle of inclination. While doing so, it splits into sine and cos components. The force acting on the vegetables would be F cos theta. You know that the value of cos less than 90 degree is not much appreciable. That is, the value will be much smaller. So, maximum force is not exerted on the vegetables. But when I use the smasher to smash the vegetables, it is getting smashed easily. This is because when I give the force normally to the vegetable, there will be no splitting of components. You may wonder, what is the force given normally? Normally in the sense, the force is given perpendicular to the vegetables. So, there is no splitting of components and maximum force will be exerted on the vegetables. This is the reason why the vegetables getting smashed easily when I use the smasher comparatively to the ladle. 